AES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services, new customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 player. You can get a free trial over at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. CES coverage sponsored by Lexar Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. See tpn.tv for Lexar advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. From Vivitech, and you've got a Pico projector here with this. You know, Pico projectors have been out for a couple of years. Uh Uh-huh. What makes this one special? Well, uh, definitely Pico projectors have been out in the marketplace, and it's been very popular since it was introduced. <clears throat> uh, well, the thing is, is that uh, this is Vivitech's first Pico projector. Uh, it is utilizing Texas Instruments DLP Pico uh, processor. Uh, the the unique part is that this is using their latest and greatest HD chipset. So this has got like a 720p uh, native resolution nice. or WXGA processor inside. Um, and in addition to that, I mean, it's one of the the among the brightest. Uh, it's got up to 300 lumens of brightness, uh, and in addition to that, it's uh, one of the first uh, Pico projectors to uh, do DLP Link 3D. So uh, wow! Uh, so you can, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. No, so it's just so from a reference standpoint, in case the audience doesn't know, when you have a big projector, right? What type of lumens mm-hmm. do you get out of a big projector? Well, uh, typically you get about a, a, a 2,000. 2,000 lumen out of a, a standard bulb base. Right. Um, on average, right now for LED based, we're getting about uh, somewhere uh, between 800 to 1,000. That's kind of right. pushing its threshold. Uh, and this is LED based, so we're we're pushing it up to about 300 lumens of brightness. See, here's the thing to remember, though. But these were never intended to be a replacement for the large large projectors. These are, you know, you travel with these easy, do presentations. Uh, many of them you can almost carry in your pocket. But I'm looking here at your, you know, you've got a little display up, and it looks beautiful. And you're running it off your, your iPhone, which is pretty cool. So you're just, you know, you're, you're doing a, dis, um, a, a screen display. But you've got 3D built into this. I got DLP Link 3D. So, so if you have, a, like, a computer mm-hmm. with, like, a, a 3D uh, source and material, uh, you can actually feed that into this projector, and uh, with all 3D, you do lose, lose a little bit of brightness. Right. But uh, this one, <clears throat> one of the first to have in sufficient brightness to do that in a Pico projector. Right. So that's that's one of the unique areas uh, of this uh, little Pico product, and to be able to do that, it tells us uh, makes a big statement about how bright it can be. Um, this projector, in a completely dark room, kind of like a home theater environment. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could produce a 100-inch image, 16 by 9 widescreen, with a, with a nice picture, with a decent picture to view. That's nice. So, so now, as far as the 3D goes, there's, there's there multiple different types of glasses you have to use. What mm-hmm. type of glasses would you have to use with this device? Uh, this would have to use the active shutter type. Active shutter type. <clears throat> right. So, you know, that's pretty cool, though. You, you know, if you have uh, some movies and you're on travel or even at home when these little devices are in a... Small home, small, home, small home studio. Of course, obviously, the device can go with you anywhere you want to go and actually do presentations, but it's got the full 720p as well. It's got HD resolution, 720p. Um, now, from an <coughs> industry standpoint, is that unusual, or is that are you guys one of the first to come up with 720p on the Pico projectors? I know? think this is, this is among one of the highest resolutions because it is using Texas Instruments' latest Pico chipset right. for the highest resolution and the, the highest brightness area. So it, it is unique in that sense. So what's the availability on It looks like this is production. This doesn't look <coughs> like a prototype, or is it a prototype? It is a prototype. It yeah. is a prototype. It's, I mean, then it's very close. Right, right. So this product, <clears throat> actually, we're going to have it pro- uh, looking around uh, around the April, May time frame of okay. this year. Uh, we definitely want to bring out to CES because it is yep. the, the greatest venue. Um, so... Yes, you're right. It is very close to to production, but you know, I think there's always there's always areas we want to tweak, tweak improvement, yeah. just make sure it's the best for for the consumer. 
Any idea what the price point on this is going to be? Has it been even set yet? Uh, it's going to be about four ninety nine. Around four ninety nine SRP, right? Awesome. So, any other features of the of the projector, or the Pico projector, you want to share with us? And well, some of the features. <coughs> sure, sure. Uh, <coughs> for the Pico projector, this is one of the 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 few projectors that has a full complement of inputs uh, on the Oops. back of the product. <coughs> we have a sp uh, special input here where uh, you can. Uh, connect like a VGA or a component, uh, something in RGB, so you can plug in like your uh, DVD player, right. regular DVD player on the back. We also outfitted it with a mini HDMI. Yeah, let's <coughs> just put it down a little sure. bit so he can see it. Go ahead. We can put in a mini HDMI here. So nice. Uh, imagine plugging in like your your Blu-ray players from like the PlayStation or right. your Xbox or gaming capabilities. Uh, I'm just trying to see on back here. You got a micro SD card area, yep. So you can actually pop out the memory card from your cell phone or your so you digital can camera and start viewing pictures. Very cool. USB port too. That's unusual. <coughs> yeah, that's uh, that USB port. Actually, we can take a, a thumb drive, and you can plug in uh, your PowerPoint presentations, mm -hmm. uh, uh, photos. So it makes the ability to share the information that you have a lot easier. Yep. And uh, oftentimes we, we come across having to share a digital camera or a cell phone. It's like, hey, show it to my family or friends. Here's the picture. Why not take that and expand upon the pi bigger picture and have everybody enjoy it? And what's even more interesting is you've got an audio out. So I'm assuming that's when you're plugged in with the SD card and you have, you, let's say you got a movie loaded in there, you can actually plug that into a speaker and hear it on the speaker instead of having to you know rely on so this thing can run completely standalone. It can. It yeah. can. Um, that, that, yes, you're right. With the audio out, uh, you can plug it into a, a portable speaker yep. system. Yep. So this makes for a, a nice companion in many aspects for the mobile presenter, the, the business person who uh, travels in the day doing presentations, can plug in their USB yep. uh, and produce a nice picture. And uh, you know, in the evenings, if they want to enjoy a nice movie, uh, or even with uh, with uh, your family, if you're on the road, uh, oftentimes kids uh, always want to watch their favorite shows yep. or movies. Hey, Jack, I got the Vivitech website up on the uh, okay. in the uh, system here. So if you guys go over to Vivitech at v i v i t e k dot com, and you select your country there, you go through, and I'm sure you're going to find all the information about the announcement on this device and all the all their other great products as well. So uh, make sure you check them out at vivitechcorp.com. Right. Want to put that in there to make sure we got it. Because if you go to vivitech.com, I don't think it takes you somewhere else. But um, thank you for spending some time with me today and showing me your product. It's a nice product, and we look forward to seeing it on the marketplace here in a few months. Todd, thank you very much for your time. And, uh, yeah, definitely please check out our website. Uh, we'll constantly have updates and more information there for, for our products. Outstanding. Have a great show. You too. Thank, thank you, you so much.